Hello? Hello, Vienna? One moment, please. I have a call for you, Vienna. Hi, Mr. Drake. Hello, any messages for me? I thought I should go up in the cable car. Yeah, that's right. Any messages? Uh, no, Mr. Drake. Uh, tell me, did you see General von Klaus? Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, we went up in the car together. He's a very interesting man. We had a long talk. Uh -huh. What did you talk about? About you, Mr. von Gulley. Oh, a moment, please. Mr. Drake. I... Call to Zurich, please. Uh, two, double two, double seven. One moment, please, sir. It's Mr. Drake. He wants to call the Zurich number. No calls. Hello, what's going on there? I'm sorry, sir. It's impossible to connect. What do you mean? Sir? We're cut off. There have been floods in the Tyrol. The lines are down. Surely it's possible to get through to Vienna? I'm sorry, sir. It's impossible at present. went wrong? Or do you still think that he's a simple American tourist? No, he's anything but that. Then who is he? I don't know who he is, but he knows all about us. About the money, the amount of counterfeit passed, and all about you. Why didn't you push him out of that cable car when you had the chance? I will be mixed up with no more killing. Well, Klaus, did anybody else know that you were coming here? No. Well, Drake has not been able to send any messages since he got here. I made sure of that. So nobody else knows anything that he might have found out? Nobody else knows he's here. All we have to do is eliminate him. I will not let you down. Don't do it. worry, General. His body won't be found anywhere near here. No, von Gorning. This is the finish. You're right, General. After all, you are the only link they have with us. This is the finish. <laughs> Hotel Steinberg, see, a man has been killed here. Yes, a murder. And if you don't hurry, there might be another one. How long will you be? Ten minutes. Might well, be as quick as you can. Else. He's not in his room. Yes, I, I did see him, Mitzi. I'm afraid there's, there's been a bit of trouble. Come What's up, trouble? Mate, please. Come on, quickly, please. What is it? I'm sorry, Mitzi, but I can't explain now. You may be in great danger. Your father asked me to take care of you. My father? But I don't understand what is happening. Did you know that your father and Von Golling were doing business together? No. You come often to stay in this hotel, don't you? Yes, we call about once a month. Sometimes we visit in the winter. 
Let us close then. Officially, yes, but my father and Herr von Goring are great friends. Any idea why he comes to stay at a place like this in the winter? Yes, he likes to test his theory. He, he believes that there are the remains of an old Roman city under the lake. Under the lake? Oh, yes. What does he do? Go diving in the middle of winter? Yes. Oh, this is Graham. Uh, where are you off to? Surely you haven't forgotten, Mr. Drake. It's the trip to the lake. Got to get you on that boat. No, no, I can't go. I must find out now what listen, happened. Now listen, Mitzi, your father wants you to stay with the other guests. Your life may be in danger. Now come on. Why, why? I must know. Where is my father? Do you trust me? Yes. All right, you play exactly as I say. You get on that boat. Now come on, quickly. Now, for a nice little game of hide and seek, you just stay there, Mitzi. Don't make a sound. Spare a moment, I'd like a word with you. Master Keith. His keys on the inside. They're in there. Open up, Drake. We know you're there. Break it down. Dredge the lake for the next three weeks. We brought up no Roman antiquities, no signs of an ancient city, just packing cases. Each one loaded with millions of dollar bills. These were made by order of Himmler during the war, by expert technicians who were prisoners in the concentration camp that once stood on the side of Steinbergsee. As the Allies marched in, the Nazis dumped the residue of their counterfeit fortune in the lake. Now I had the job of, of telling Mitzi about her father's death. <laughs> 